Hello everyone and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you for joining me and let's play some Stellaris as the German Reich. We are fanatic collectivists and militarists. So, last time we left off, we have just worked on colonizing uh, Salam, which is in the Sirius system. Just built that up as a colony and uh, let's see what's up in, over here. Uh, not much is developing right now. Uh, we have a food surplus though. It's pretty nice. 21, 21 tiles here. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Mineral production is pretty good. Energy credits is okay. Influence is actually doing really well. Research is also really good. Um, we have met some empires to our west and to our south. This guy here, this Oklar Commonwealth, this guy is a uh, democracy. He's a fanatic individualist, so he very much dislikes us. He's actually superior in... Uh, technology and this guy is uh, this guy's a moral democracy but he's an isolationist so um, he's superior to us but he's not gonna mess around with us too much I actually went ahead and put an embassy here we are rival to this guy so there's gonna be a war sometime um, so I'm trying to put it my empire on kind of a military footing we're gonna go ahead on a generate design so we go okay um, I will be putting my military and my, my empire on a military footing, but actually I realized that I need more planets. And I need more planets like right now. <laughs> um, I only have 16 pops across two worlds. My opponent here, uh, he's got four planets with 27, so we, we seriously need to expand a little bit. And uh, I'm going to save up right now to get a colony ship. We're going to go on fast speed. Let's see here. So, um... My construction ship is just building up some mining stations right now. My science ship is uh, exploring some asteroid bases and such. Um, we have some technology on the way. Naval capacity, plasma thrusters, sensitive point defense. Let's see. Anything else that's really pressing right now? No. Okay. Military fleet's at 310. Um, hanging out in the solar system. So that's cool. That's cool. Ships upgraded. Yeah, docked fleet. Construction spaceport on Earth. Okay, we're looking good there. Let's go to the surface here. Should we... Um, we have infrastructure projects. Land of special opportunity. Ooh, special project. Pretty cool. Social engineering. Capacity overload. Hmm. Think about Earth. Anything on Earth that we need? Uh, growth is going pretty well here, actually. We just finished naval capacity plus 10%, so we can uh, have 10 on a... Or we can have 19 ships now. Um, let's see here. Regenerative whole tissue... I don't know how useful that that is, to be honest. Uh, Biolab Frontier Clinic. Let's go ahead and get that Biolab real quick. I like how that sounds. 11 plus 16% uh, plus on engineering tech, actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. This is my science ship, right? Yeah, this is my science ship. Okay, so let's keep exploring, I think, a little bit. Um, let's do what we can. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Where is our construction ship right now? He's um, here in Sirius. Okay. Thora, let's see here. What about Alpha Centauri? Have some research there. We're going to colonize Alpha Centauri next for sure. Not a very large planet, but it'll be worth it. Um, we're waiting for the minerals right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. We have not surveyed this planet, nor have we surveyed this planet. We know for sure there are enemies here. We don't know what's here, which is which is where there's something there. It's in within, it's within sense of range, but um, okay. Uh, once we get our next colony ship, we'll actually probably want to produce some more um, some more ships. I think. Let's see. Let's check out our policies real quick. Slavery is allowed. Slave procreation is also allowed. Never vote or migrate on their own or join any factions in the slave faction. They have increased mineral output but suffer penalties of all types of research. Okay, so I don't want to enslave any of my own pops. These these humans here, they're my pops. I want to enslave alien pops. So, Plasma thruster looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get space torpedoes, I think. I like the way that sounds. As a militarist nation, we get... Um, Auto best. Let's actually go ahead. Alien proto civilization. Oh, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and delete these guys. Um, okay, auto generated designs. That's what I want. Let's see. Enough for a colony ship? Not yet. Almost. Almost. Let's get one more. One more. Come on, baby. Let's do it. 
Wait until the end of the month. Almost there. Holy shit. Let's do it. Continental world here. Building up the surface. For now, we'll just let the population grow. I don't want to spend too many minerals on it for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can we upgrade my military fleet with anything? We can. Okay. System surveys done there. Let's see here. Oklahoma Commonwealth. 27 pop. Okay. We're equivalent in strength now because of technology. Construction ship. Put these guys up too. Um, anything else we need to, to move out for? Desert World. Five energy credits. Wow. Two minerals. Two engineering research. We'll have to definitely explore for that there. Let's go ahead and let's get some... Hmm. Let's go ahead and secure this Amgathors, um system. I like the way that sounds. We have our science ship out here. Let's see here. Melter fleet is just kind of docked, hanging around Earth. Um, I like how that sounds. We'll probably clear out these planets sometime soon. There's a continental world here, so we'll be able to uh, expand into that pretty quick. Continental world is our preferred world for expansion. Alrighty, uh, we're going to need some more energy credits pretty soon. Let's see. Now, I mean, if I was to enslave some people. Let's see, surface, yeah. So, like, these guys here, you know, like, I can enslave these guys. Excel at manual labor, but are not useful for more intellectual pursuits. Okay. Damage your relations with certain other empires, okay. Yeah, I'll have to see that. Fanatic collectivists, militarists. Slavery toleration plus 100%, right? Yeah, so, um... Essentially, none of my pops care about having slaves, which is which is cool. And I want slaves sometime, you know, soon. Uh, let's see, Stiridon. Anything significant about Stiridon? I don't think so. We we found some sort of proto civilization. Where was it? Um, robots, huh? Ooh, somebody built robot robots. That's cool. German Reich, Oklahoma Commonwealth. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we had found something here. It should be somewhere around the place. Jinkath, maybe? No. Alright, well, we'll find out where it is. Um, there's some pop somewhere on, on one of these worlds. Species here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Your survey completed. Habitable world survey. We get a lot of research, which is pretty cool. I like it. We secured Zimpek with a frontier outpost just to push against their, these guys' borders. Uh, equivalent hostile. Yeah, they're definitely hostile. We're going to have to to work at getting some military power to oppose them fairly soon. Let's go ahead and keep focusing over here. Let's queue up a mining station. So I've, I've played a little more with uh, warfare and things like that. I've got a little bit of a better grasp on things. Um... Is this sign ship's uh, colony ship's almost done? Yeah, so I've played a little bit more with warfare. I have a couple other test campaigns, and uh, I have a little better understanding of how to wage war now. So we should see some some pretty awesome conflicts uh, fairly soon. Core sector planets. Ooh, Ministry of Efficiency. Let's actually go ahead and get that tire blocker for now. And Sentinel Point Defense, basic combat rules, laser defense module. I like that as well. Let's see here. Should we upgrade our fleet? Um, I actually like the idea of doing that. So we're gonna go ahead upgrade our fleet. Construction ship. Science ship is going to be surveying a lot of stuff. Construction ship is building some stuff up. We should definitely head to Corvon and secure that a little bit. Okay, yeah, because we have a deficit now. Uh, although we do have this colony ship here, so that's that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and colonize with this colony ship. And, ooh, awesome. Perfect, perfect spot on the planet. Not too many tile blockers. I really like how the way that looks. These guys here were actually pretty smart to secure this system because it's uh, 8 energy credits, 5 minerals. That's a lot. Um, this here too, this is six energy credits and two re uh, research, so they actually, they were pretty smart in uh, securing that, so um, we'll want to go to war, I think, sometime soon. Um, since I'm a militarist, I probably have more capacity than they do, especially if I build up some, some spaceports in some of my colonies here. Um, we will have um, a large force limit, which I like. Corvettes in the early game will actually do us, will actually do us some good. Can I upgrade a colony spaceport 3? I can't, not yet. Anyway, I can't build any destroyers or anything yet. Soon, soon though. Soon we will be able to. Not now, but soon. And we're going to colonize Alpha Centauri too. Okay. 
Let's get this construction ship. We'll move him over to Korriban. Build research stations. No, we'll just have him move for now. I need, I need energy credits. Um, I gotta be wary about getting too close to these guys. These guys like to um, stay kind of far away from people. They're xenophobic isolationists, so uh, I gotta be careful about how close I get to them. Um, I, I'm trying to make it known that I'm not a threat to them, but, you know, what can we do? New Jamestown, that's the name of our next uh, colony, which is pretty cool. Let's see here, 31 pops for these guys. Okay, now they're they're relatively superior to us in, in strength. Okay, we'll definitely have to build up some, some power to them soon. Hmm. Continental world. Right now, energy credits are lacking. Minerals is actually doing pretty good. Mm, let's go ahead and head on out here, and and I want to get mining station there and a mining station there, and then a third one. Um, yeah, I, I think for those minerals there, actually, it sounds pretty good. Okay, and let's see, anything else? We're still on fast speed. I don't want to go too fast. I want to be able to just kind of talk about things and explain things and figure out us things as we go. Anything on Jinkath? No, no planets to to colonize there. So we'll definitely secure that with some. Um, We'll definitely secure that with some um, frontier outposts and some uh, mining stations, probably, I think. Uh, we have a governor that leveled up. That's pretty cool. Let's actually get some governors for our planets here. We have two governors so far. New Jamestown is going to require one once it's done being a colony, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll move over here to Grunhurst in a little bit. I want to get some energy credits and some minerals, and then we'll actually build up our, our force here. Anything on the surface? Do we need to improve anything here? Hmm, two minerals, one food, two minerals, one food. For now, we'll let that we'll let that grow naturally. Anything here? Anything significant? Hydroponics. That's some society research here. And systematically disseminate and ultimately remove this pop over time. System hmm. survey complete. I don't really want to build any more food. I think we'll be okay here. We have three surplus food, which is which is pretty good already. Uh, let's see, New Jamestown, Salem. We could maybe do it here, but for now, for now, we'll leave it. Let's see here, negative balance, that's fine. Construction ship's building some stuff. I think now is the time where we can build some, some more Corvettes. Yeah, 107, 107 uh, minerals per Corvette. That's a lot, kind of. Um, I'll be honest, that's kind of a lot. Colony's been established in New Jamestown, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll also let this grow kind of naturally. Let's go to Earth here. Should we get... Um, I think Corvette Assembly Yards and Solar Panel Network would, would definitely be something to do. Tile Blocker's done. Builds Resource Alien Pets. That's really, really strange. <laughs> uh, Lux Colonization... Xenology, huh. Spaceport Modules. Xenophiles value them highly and proudly present them in zoos. Huh. Let's go for Ocean World, I think. Just to get some colonization on Ocean Worlds and such. Um, Tundra World, for sure. Desert World, we can't colonize. Uh, Continental World, and I think Ocean World are the closest to us. It's like 60% habitability or something like that. Um, anything else here? Anything else I want to be looking into? Construction complete. All right, we got some more Corvettes. We actually have quite, quite decent military power per Corvette. Thirty-three point two. That's that's per Corvette. That's actually really good. These guys are still superior to us in strength, though, huh? Yeah, we definitely have to work. We definitely get to work on that a little bit. Uh, let's keep going. Anything else we should be concerned with? Let's go here. We'll go ahead and get a Corvette assembly yard, and I would like to get this solar panel network. Let's wait for for one more month. Second fleet, 398 military power. Joseph Goebbels is our admiral. He has uh, some decent, some decent power. Almost 400 military power here. Let's actually go ahead and we'll, we will clear out this system while Earth is building up some solar panel networks. And let's see, let's check on the surface. I want to keep keep up um, my growth here. Just want to be able to keep an eye on things. Planetary modifier, ethics divergence. Okay. Plant summary. Let's see how this guy's habitability. 80% sapping to 65%. Million human. Fanatic collectivist, militarist, strong, communal, continental preference. Member of the loyalist factions. Okay. 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and let's kick the crap out of all these aliens. And let's see how our armies do. Yeah, Joseph Goebbels uh, is unyielding, so he gives uh, ship hull points plus 20%, but he cannot retreat from any battles. So, with almost a fanatic Naziist totalitarian fascist zeal, he will fight to the ultimate death. Laser defense modules, cool. Cold fusion reactor. Let's go ahead and get a cold fusion reactor. Let's see, Corvette. Excuse me. <clears throat> Small fusion missiles. Nuclear missiles, small fusion missiles, mass drivers, okay. Actually, I really like the composition of that, yeah. Let's see, how much damage? 5.82 uh, damage, high red laser fusion missiles, yeah, so actually they're pretty powerful. And, yeah, actually, yeah, per Corvette, they're actually really powerful. Let's go ahead and let's see how the combat plays out. Alright, so it looks like we're kicking some ass. Um, our ships actually hold up fairly well in combat. All points, let's see here. Oh, this is our, um, yeah, Kevin Hines, Mahone class, and this is... Ooh, what's up here? Captain Cassandra Erickson, the commanding officer of the DEU McCampbell, served with distinction during the recent engagement that took place in the Gunther system. Admiralty on Earth has decided to promote the captain to a full admiral. Cool. So I think I have a new admiral? Is that what that says? I think. I'm not entirely certain. So we are clearing out this system, and then we'll we'll have our um, science ship survey the system. Let's see what's up here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the rest of this fleet combat stats. We did pretty good there. Did pretty good here. Construction ship is um, construction ship is done with its orders. Let's go ahead and come up here. Why am I losing so much money? What's so expensive? Station maintenance, ship maintenance, building maintenance, huh? Something just got really, really expensive. I'm actually trying to figure out what. That's weird. Four planets, 34 pop for our enemy. What do we have? 20, 20 pops across three worlds. Yeah, we are significantly smaller. Uh, relative equal in, in, in military strength, though, so I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and... I guess, we'll, for the sake of um, research, we'll go ahead and get... Uh, another research station. Jinkath will also move there for those energy credits. We're going to need them. Let's go back here. Let's continue on with our combat. Corvettes. So because we're military dictatorship, uh, fanatic militarists, we have kind of like a ship. Uh, what do they call it here? Ship modifiers. It's, a, it's like a capital ship, sort of. All right, yeah, we actually, you know what, this, this fleet's pretty powerful. We're actually relatively, relatively powerful. Um, kick some ass. So I'm building up uh, Corvette assembly yards and solar panel networks in, in Earth. On Earth spaceport, we're going to go ahead and engage these guys. Looks like we have a barren world there and a continental world here. We're going to colonize this, hopefully. Let's go ahead and engage. We've got 12 Corvettes right now. Crystalline entities. Look at that. Yeah, we actually do a significant amount of damage. I'm really impressed. Sick. I'm gonna go ahead and engage this large crystal entity red prism. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's that. We kick some ass. Let's go ahead and repair. And we have our science ship coming on down. And our scientist is Erwin Rommel, and he's gonna come here and investigate some of this stuff. Let's get him on some of these research projects here. Okay, and let's see, anything else? Grass grazers here on Prokian, although they're not that big of a deal. They're not going to harm us in any way. Construction ship, building up some uh, research station. We'll go to Jinkath for sure. Get, uh, yeah, mining station, research station, I like it. And let's gather some specimens here. And alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. It's 2225, March 20th. So we've been playing for about 25 years or so. And we're doing okay. We we want to make sure we go to war with these guys fairly soon. They have a frontier outpost there and they have some planets. I'd like to vassalize them or something. That'd be pretty cool. But alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe. Um, maybe if you're feeling generous, please support me on Patreon. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.